Let's say you in Florida and the next of kin is somewhere in Alabama and they really don't have much of a relationship with your girlfriend. Do you know they can tell the hospital to go ahead and pull the plug and it ain't nothing you can do? I came across this story on Instagram and I just wanted to share this with y'all because I want to show y'all, especially the men, I want to highlight something that I've never heard a man on any po uh, podcast. I never heard it talked about in, in the barbershop. I never heard it talked about amongst friends. I never heard men ever discuss this situation. And it's something that is real and something that we should all be talking about because it can happen to anybody, especially if you're out here having sex and, and doing things that can cause you to have a child with somebody. And it's something that you really need to be concerned with if you're a person that is against being married while you're doing these things because you don't even realize that being married actually helps you too. There's benefits that you probably ain't even aware of. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in this topic. The, the headline says, Jackie O's family removes GoFundMe to save her home after DC Young Fly said it was fake. Comedian DC Young Fly says, GoFundMe started on behalf of his late girlfriend, Jackie O, was not legit. The entertainer recently spoke about having the page removed, claiming the fundraiser started by Jackie O's family members was fake. In the bio of the since-deleted account page, relatives of the Wild and Out model wrote, It is with heavy heart I write to request your kind donations. The family of Jacqueline Marie Smith, also known as Miss Jackie O, as many of you know, Jacqueline passed away unexpectedly on May 31st, 2023. We have recently received the news that Jacqueline's home is going into foreclosure on March 25th. They added, as a family, we are humbly requesting your assistance to help us pay off the home that Jacqueline worked hard to provide for her children, Nova, Nala, and Prince Nehemiah. As the campaign mentioned, Jacqueline passed away early last year due to complications from plastic surgery. She was survived by her longtime partner, D.C. Young Fly, real name John Whitfield, 31, and their three children, Nova, Nala, and Prince Nehemiah. The pair had been dating since 2015, and Jackie was just 33 at her time of passing. Though it is unclear how much the fundraiser was able to accumulate before it was deactivated, the goal was reportedly set at $1 million. It is noted in the report that D.C. was the one who had it removed. In a subsequent statement released about the fundraiser, D.C.'s attorney said that they believed the page was misleading and took swift action to get it taken down. They added, GoFundMe's team followed their process and communicated to us confirming this fundraiser has been removed from the platform and all donors have been refunded. Cases of misuse are very rare, and we take swift action against those who exploit the generosity of our community and continue. I hope people remember Jackie for her brilliance and values. Please continue to keep the family in your prayers. We look forward to providing her viewers with upcoming announcements regarding her continued legacy. So <clears throat> you see right now, it's clearly some things going on behind the scenes that, frankly, is none of our business, but they're celebrities, so it's out there for the public to see, right? And um, people are asking a lot of questions. You know, people got a lot of comments in the comment section, people saying that um, Jackie's sister posted the link to this GoFundMe campaign on her Instagram story. Um, people are saying that the sister actually lives in the house. <clears throat> so that's the reason why they have this GoFundMe because they're trying to save the house for the sister. Um, it's people making the comment about 
um, DC Young Fly not being married to this woman at the time of her death. So um, he shouldn't be trying to interfere and let the family raise money for um, the so they can save the house or whatever, right? It's all kind of stuff going on, and this is going to definitely affect you know, what's going on in their family. I'm pretty sure those kids that they have, their family is going to want to be involved in those kids' life in some way, shape, or form, you know? And um, it's this, this is something that I, I, I know all too well because my mom's ex-husband was in the funeral business. He owned a funeral home, and... Um, I've heard so many different stories about families falling apart. They fighting in the funeral home. They fighting at the funeral. They fighting over their loved ones' belongings, all of that stuff. People want to uh, make claims to certain things. And then they don't realize that they have no claim to it. And the reason being is they're not next of kin. That's something that you actually have to have to be. <laughs> and if you're not married to a person, then the next of kin, I, f I forget exactly how it goes. It's different uh, from state to state, I believe. But usually it goes to like your siblings is your next of kin and then your parents. And then if there's no parents that are alive, it goes to somebody else in the family. And I just want you to think about this. If you're a person, if you're a man that is with a woman and you have kids with this woman and y'all ain't married. I want you to think about this. It don't matter how long y'all been together. DC Young Flying, this woman was together from 2015 to 2023. That's what, eight years? Weren't married. She dies tragically. And I'm pretty sure they probably allowed him to take care of, of the funeral arrangements and stuff like that because, you know, he's a celebrity. He He's successful. Uh, they was together. Why would he not take care of that? And the family probably ain't got it like that. She seemed like she was probably one of the breadwinners, right? So they probably allowed him to take care of those arrangements. But when it comes to this now, the family is saying, okay, I want to go and, and do a GoFundMe. And I want to save this house because I'm living in this house. And now there's a fight. This is just the nature of what happens when you don't go in and, and get married. <laughs> just imagine if this woman, or I want to take this off of them because I don't want to just make light on this tragic situation. I'm just, I'm just using this because I just want people to think about this, right? Let's say you're a regular man. Regular nine to five man, and you got a, a a couple kids with a woman, and she goes into the hospital. Y'all are together. Let's say y'all been together for 10 years. When you get to the hospital and you find out your, your wife or I mean, your excuse me, your girlfriend is on life support and the doctors are coming in the room and they're, they're asking for somebody to make decisions. And let's say. She's clinging to life and, and they're saying that, well, there's only a, a, a 20 percent chance that she'll be able to recover and and and, and have a, a, a normal life. You got two kids with this woman. Y'all basically have a family. You decide I want to I want y'all to do everything y'all can save my girlfriend, please. I need y'all to save her. I love her. I want her to, to come back to us and, and I want her to be here to help raise these kids. And she got so many things she want to do, so many goals we got together and we're going to work this side and do this and do that. We planned on traveling and this and that. And then her next of kin, her sister, brother, mama, daddy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in her family comes in or not. Let's say they don't even come in. Let's say the hospital find out y'all ain't married, so you're not next to kin, and they got to call the real next to kin on the phone. What if they're, let's say you in Florida, and the next to kin is somewhere in Alabama, 
and they really don't have much of a relationship with your girlfriend. Do you know they can tell the hospital to go ahead and pull the plug and it ain't nothing you can do? So now you have to plan a funeral. You have to deal with the grief of, of losing the woman that you love. Now you got to make arrangements with your for your children because let's say, well, I'm pretty sure y'all were together and, and she took a lot of the load of, of raising those kids. Now it's all on you. So whether or not your kids were in daycare, it really don't matter because what y'all used to do, you ain't going to be able to do no more. Now you got to actually go out and, and figure it out. Now you're going to be leaning on your parents if you got them or your siblings. You couldn't you can't go to the bank. And say, hey, um, my girlfriend had a savings account and um, I think she had like twenty five thousand dollars in, in the savings account. I need to get that. If you ain't next to kin, you can't get a death certificate, which means you can't go to the bank and get nothing. Her next to kin is going to get that. And you got to have faith. If she didn't have a will, you got to have faith that the next the kin is going to say, well, you got them kids and I'm just going to give you this money so you can take care of them kids. What if the next of kin is somebody that is a, a terrible person morally and they decide, oh, I'm going to take this money. I, I'm behind on my bills. I'm going to catch up. Thank you, uh, niece. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, sis. I don't care nothing about your kids. You gone. I need to um catch these bills up. Men don't ever have these conversations. We don't think about this because we, for one, you know, it's it's understood that we're supposed to be the providers and you know that type of thing, which I agree with. But do you account for how much? the mother of your child actually does outside of, of money. You don't understand that there is so much that you don't have to worry about because of her. Even if y'all wasn't together when she passed, it's something that you got to worry about. Is there life insurance? If there is life insurance and you're not the beneficiary, what's going to happen? Let's say you got a five-year-old. You're still going to have to take care of this kid by yourself for 13 years. That life insurance policy, if you were on it, would help. The money that she had in the bank would help you being able to go and sell her, sell her car. If she had it, had a car and get some money off of that would help. You being able to sell her house <laughs> would help. But if you're not married, you have no say so. Maybe you're in a position where this ain't something that you even got to worry about. And God bless you if you are. I just want people to think about the end. Because it don't always end with the man going first. It seems like the way we look at it in society is the man going to go first. So we need to stack up and, and, and prepare things and uh, make sure we got something to leave behind for our kids and, and stuff like that. That's what you're supposed to do as a man. But have you thought about what would happen if you don't go first? You should want to be married for other reasons outside of this, by the way. I'm not saying I'm not saying that you should marry your your girlfriend because she's going to pass and you're not going to have control over her stuff once she does. That's not the reason you should get married. I'm just saying, while you see so many people on these podcasts saying that there is no benefit for a man to marry a woman, I just want to know, have you ever thought about this? 
It's something that you should be thinking about if you have kids. I don't care if you with the mom. Even if you married, you got to think about this. This is estate planning, right? <laughs> Everybody that has kids or a wife has to think about this. But I just don't ever see people, like I said, mainly men, talk about this. Especially if they're not married and, and if they just out here sleeping around and, and being irresponsible. They definitely ain't thinking about this until they get a phone call and say, hey, you got to come pick up your son because I can't take care of him. So you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do. Which in a lot of cases could be exactly what ended up happening. But that's all I got to say about that, man. Um, I'm sorry to hear about this situation with DC Young Fly and, and, and um, Miss Jackie O. When I saw this story, everybody was sad. You know, I was sad too. Don't nobody ever want to see nothing like this happen. I'm not making this video to bash him and say, oh, you should have married that woman and this and that. He got enough going on. But truth be told, if you with a woman and you basically have a family, why are you not married? But that's all I got to say about that, man. I'll see y'all on the next one.